Hello everyone and welcome back to my Hard Time series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In the previous episode we brought the Derrick shuttle up fully fueled. It looks empty right now but that is because I haven't unlocked the fuel here. It, uh, it had all its fuel preserved and so let's take care of that right now to make sure that it can conduct whatever mission we send it on. But that's the rub really. Uh, I haven't got many scientific instruments on this thing and so the question is what should I do with it? And I'm going to turn to the contract screen to see if it can give us some guidance about that but we really need some more science as you might note the the payload bay is empty we don't have anything going on in there I'm gonna keep the liquid fuel and oxidizer not not liquid fuel not said just the liquid fuel supplies locked that'll be for re-entry uh, well maneuvering when we get back down but yeah we oh I left the struts on for the payload that's unsightly but anyway we need some sort of way to get some science uh, we also need some way of connecting that thing to this craft which probably means a claw right but I don't think I've unlocked the claw I'll have to check that out well, the other possibility is just to use this docking port. Oh, we should unlock that mod propellant. So uh, we can uh, put, hook up a little lander onto that and bring it over to wherever we want to. So that's a possibility. Yeah. So we'll let, let's go to the contract screen and see what I should do. Okay, so here are our available contracts science data from space around bop uh mark 16 parachute in flight well in flight we can't do plan a flag on eve ha 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 not just yet um obviously we're not going to be carrying these huge engine clusters with us and uh, of course testing in flight over well yeah it'd be in flight so we wouldn't even be able to have done that with the shuttle stack um, radio mount parachute in flight over lathe is the only lathe thing available apparently and then poodle engine splash down at eve oh yeah well with the kind of failure uh, detriment that there is there I think I'll skip that entirely uh, geez that's horrible too okay whatever um, active ones we've got is plant a flag on Drez, Gilly, or Ike. Science data from Tylo. Explore Moho, Tylo, and Val. Now, I think I said that this uh, shuttle has 3,200 meters per second of delta V, which means it's possible to get to the dual system, but I'm not too sure it could get back. So that's a problem. I think for its first interplanetary journey, we should try something a little bit more tame, like Gilly or Ike, but these are planet flags, which means we need some sort of lander. I'm not going to risk the Kerbals on trying to, well, uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and risk the Kerbals on trying to land the Derek shuttle on Gilly or Ike. Gilly, maybe. Ike, no. But maybe we can get a decent lander hooked up to the shuttle. Let's take a look at that possibility. Uh, um, a Gilly or Ike lander should be... I mean, it'll be a disposable lander. We're not going to carry it back with us through a re-entry, no way. But, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's take a look into that possibility. Either one of these two locations get a lander for them. Oh, no. Scratch the idea. Not only do we not have the claw, we don't have any docking ports. Which means we can't dock... Well, we have this docking port, but... I, I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, not really. Well... No, it, there's no way. So we don't have any docking port to apply to this lander that could allow us to dock with the Derek shuttle like that. Maybe we should just skip with the contracts and just uh, go out and have an adventure and uh, do some EVA stuff. Let me take a look at the 
at the tech tree and see what EVAs we've already done. Of course, if we had more than 17 science, I'd be able to unlock uh, the docking ports and get a lander together, but without that. Okay, so let's see now. Gilly. Looks like we haven't done any manned stuff uh, around Gilly. It's just uh, goo and material study. So we could do that. Yeah, it looks like it was just science around Eve. So we could go to Eve. We have done crew reports uh, around Duna, but not Ike. Yeah, okay. And those are the two most likely locations to send our Kerbals to. As far as EV reports around Kerbin, we've done Moon. Looks pretty much well I mean we've got a few more uh, biomes probably and uh, nine EV reports around Minmus so that's out of the question so Eve or Duna let's see which one we're at the closer phase angle for so to transfer to Eve we want Eve to be 54 degrees behind us this is more like 20 maybe even less than that so that's not great and it's gonna get worse but then uh, for Duna, we want Duna ahead of us by 45 degrees, 44-ish. And that means that Kerbin is going to have to go all the way around like that. Let me quick, quickly take a look at the Derek shuttle and see how much it would cost to hit EVE now. So it won't be an ideal transfer, but let's see how much it would cost. Looks like we can do it with 1,144. Let, let me just... Uh, Fix this up a bit. Maybe there's another possibility on the... Nah, I doubt it. Okay, I've got a EVE periapsis of 118 kilometers. And it'll cost us 1,146 meters per second here. And another 412 meters per second there. That's pretty expensive. Uh, but but it isn't uh, home and transfer. It's It's gonna be a little bit tricky so yeah I, I guess it's the best we can do and that's better than waiting whoa okay that's better than waiting a whole long time for things so let's go for it uh, these guys are just going to go for EVAs so it's not gonna be too big a deal just get over there do some EVAs come back but uh, the tricky thing will be hitting Gilly I think we also have to watch out for our electric charge. We only have solar panels, no extendable solar panels. It's just these flat ones on the side of the cargo bay. Cargo bay will remain closed, so not too much danger there. We have to also watch out for them drifting off during EVA. That can happen. Oh, that reminds me. I need to check out what it's doing to my periapsis. We're pretty close to the planet. Okay, we're actually burning out of periapsis, but I need to pay attention to that because we got to start burning earlier. We're going to end up dipping low here. If we try to start burning now, we'd actually probably re-enter. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what's really going on. Doesn't seem like we're really matching the intended path, but let's just try and hit this as good as possible. Well, as good as I care to. All right, so that's our path out. And the mid-course plane change needs a bit of tweaking. We can do that. Okay, 107.9 kilometers. If we do this 423.5 meter per second mid-course plane change. Now, what's the best orientation? That's a pretty good orientation for uh, for uh, leaving Kerbin sort of path. Let's orient with our prograde though. Trying to aerobrake this thing in EVE and on the way back is going to be fun though. 
I don't know how the aerodynamics are going to work, whether uh, Eve is going to rip some panels off our wings. There's a lot of problems that could occur on this test, first interplanetary test of the Derrick shuttle. But out we go. Okay, looks like everything is still intact after exiting Kerbin's sphere of influence, so let's proceed to the maneuver node. Make sure our solar panels are facing the sun. Oh, oh. uh oh. <sighs> that happened suddenly. Well, we can do this sort of thing. Let's see, where is the sun now? <sighs> Great. No, no, the other way. Practically why we have monopropellant. You know, come to think of it, we should, uh, we should really keep a standard suite of... Oh, we can close this. A standard suite of scientific experiments inside the Derrick shuttle. There's no reason why... Uh oh skybox glitching. Um, there's no reason we, why we should fly without our standard scientific experiments. Probably best just to keep those in the cargo bay. Expensive, of course, but uh, the scientific exper experiments are quite expensive for some reason. However, since this we're just going to be bringing this back, it'll be fine. Okay, that looks good to me. 71 kilometers. As long as we're not going backwards around EVE, that would be good. I'll leave that as sort of a surprise when we enter the EVE SOI. So let us continue. This time when the, when the shuttle gets shadowy, I'm going to have to remember to get it. Uh, well, we're going to be like this. I'll be fine. We can always use the mod propellant to straighten ourselves and get get some sunlight. Yep, we've done it. But I'm just gonna wait. Up, oh, it's back again. Go figure. Up, oh, it's gone again. Wonder how the cycle could possibly be that quick. Okay, we're sort of very much not in the right orientation in any respect. Okay, where's the sun? The sun seems to be on the other side. So, uh, SAS off so I don't have to do more than one burst of the RCS. My RCS doesn't seem to be placed very well for rotations. Okay, let's do this burn and then I'm gonna have to figure out exactly where we need to be to air brake. Or at least based on the normal 0.2 drag coefficient. Which in this case will be quite wrong. But. Okay, so air braking calculator time, I think. We are at 83,600 kilometers, 2,404.5 meters per second. Okay, the result, if I want an apoapsis around Gilly's orbit, is 64,300. So we'll just use, R use RCS to get us there, I think. 64,000, well, above 64,300, which is fine. Okay, that looks like the approach we are going to make. I guess we should just go in like an arrow too. I mean, if we point up, we're gonna have lift, and I actually don't want lift in this case. Okay, well, there's our fireworks. Come on, Eve. Don't let the wings fool you. 
Nope, that's it. It, has, it didn't dare break us fully. Too much lift. Gotta flip around and then uh, retro burn. Don't know how much that's gonna cost us. Probably a lot. We might have to send a refueling pod in order to get these guys back. No, that's not the best way. Come on, come on, keep rotating, keep rotating. And don't worry, I'll do science. We, we, we'll, we'll kick them out. Uh, maybe I should do that sooner rather than later. Okay, we, we're in low around Eve right now. Um, let's get some lights on. Darn, that's not enough lights. Um, I'm worried about, I don't even know where they pop out from. Let's do a crew report, how about that first. Oh, it's got lights too, yeah. Okay, crew report. Uh, we don't have any way to transmit data. That's something else I should add consistently to this. Okay, where did they pop out from? Oh, I don't even see him. Where are you? Uh, oh, definitely drifting away. Okay, keep that data. Um, this is bad. Come on, come on, stop this camera. All right, all right. Well, upside down is fine. Just this was a bad idea. Come on, you're hitting something. That means you're close to it. Board. Whoa! Not the view I wanted. Okay, but he's in. Okay, handle that one. Now let's make this adjustment. Well, we'll wait until we're far out to get the high over Eve. Okay, let's see. Oh, not quite there yet. Ah, going too far. Okay, RCS is probably called for in this case. I feel cheated. Wow, way cheated. What was I pointing at if that's the... That's the way things are. Get the feeling I didn't put enough torque in this in this craft. It just sort of overdoes things in space. In the atmosphere, it's quite fine to handle, but okay. Finally, a solid periapsis. It's a little bit low, but we'll go with that. Okay, I think we're high over Eve. <laughs> Definitely high over Eve. Now, about electric charge. Where is the sun? The other side. So, let's roll if we can. Okay, now we've got some sunlight. So, maybe I can keep... Oh, let's have Jeb do this one. Uh, well, okay, the craft is still wiggling a bit. Let's just do it that way. EVA, jab, okay, yep, scoot up, EVA report, okay, high over Eve, keep data, and board, all right, nice and smooth, I wonder if I, uh, this is just an experiment, but, oh yeah, we get to, hmm, wasn't there a way to, move them from one to another. Ah, oh, yeah, transfer. Uh, let's transfer there. Now, if I take a crew report here, I can keep data? Yeah, okay. So now I have a crew report here. 
already. And that's uh, near Eve. And I have a crew report here. Nope. Review. However, Eve. But the crew report will stay here even if I move Bill. Yep. Alright. Not that that was particularly critical, but anyway, uh, we've lost our, our little uh, encounter. That's pretty much predictable. Okay, we've regained our encounter. Continuing. Okay, so here's the thing. We are in a very different orbit from from uh, Gilly. And that means that if I try and get into orbit, it's going to cost quite a lot. For instance... Whoop. No, it's not as bad as I thought, but 313 is a lot considering our fuel situation. Let me calculate my delta V. Hold on, let me pause this. Yeah, I have 809, not including the the jet fuel. So just uh, LFO, I've got 809. That's not... I don't know if that's even enough to get back home at this rate. So, yeah, I should probably be a little bit more cautious about things. And so we'll just uh, hold on and, and now the... That also does not include mod propellants delta V and also the possibility that delta V will increase if we just go ahead and use mod propellant. Boy, this thing likes to wiggle. Don't know why. I, we've got plenty of reaction control from uh, on out here. Should unlock that too. Okay, but the point is that we should do an EVA. It's Bill's turn. He's scooting down, so I have to scoot him up. Okay. Oh, he keeps scooting down. Hi, Vigili. Keep data. Board. So we're not going to make orbit, and we're definitely gonna, not going to land. Just got to pass by. I'll hit uh, periapsis and see. I don't think we're going to get a near to Gilly, but we might as well check. Stern. I just want to slide off, I swear. It's still high. But I'm gonna take the data and we'll do a crew report. Okay, keep that data. Okay, now we will eventually have to wait for a home and transfer back because even though I was perhaps a little bit over eager to get them over here and so didn't wait for a home and transfer for that, uh, with 800 Delta V I had better wait for the best, the most efficient possible transfer to bring them home. And even so I might need to refuel them before trying to get them back otherwise they'll be in interplanetary space and perhaps not encountering Kerbin the way I'd like them to. So the phase angle between Kerbin and Eve for an Eve return, so from Eve to Kerbin, Kerbin needs to be ahead by 36 degrees, so they're gonna have to wait a while. Uh, speaking of which, actually we need to zoom in and make sure that we don't hit the atmosphere of Eve again. So let us just sort of sidestep Eve a little bit. That should do the trick. And maybe I should use RCS for that. Because otherwise we're going to be... Well, I don't know how much chance... I mean, it'll be more efficient to just use the RCS for this. Even as it is, wow, we, we don't get much Delta V out of our RCS system on this possibly some obstructions, especially in this direction? I don't know. Okay, 
that's good enough. Right, so at least we're in a stable orbit now. Make sure that we face the sun. Turn around. Okay, now I have to decide whether I want to try and bring them back in this episode, which is a trick because I need to make sure that I've got enough time to land them. Hold on a sec. Well, how about I at least try and see whether they need more fuel or whether I can transfer them back. I probably won't do the landing in this episode because I'm getting a little bit a little bit tired here. But uh, yeah, let's go to the tracking station and see, at least fulfill the suspense, uh, resolve that, whether they can get back with the fuel they've got. Okay, so what I need to do is time warp until Kerbin is 36 degrees ahead of Eve. So next time we launch this thing, we should definitely have a lander of some kind in the bay. More scientific instruments, communication devices, the works if you will. That's a little bit better. Okay, so plotting for home. Let's see what our orientation is like with regard to the target. Ah, wrong way around. Yeah, you can see, sort of see the turn we make as we pass by Eve. That's obviously not the best thing. I wasn't looking for a accidental gravity boost from Eve. Ah, wow. Who? Huh. That is tight. Okay, I've spent a while f fiddling around with this maneuver. Got it to 27,000 kilometers and uh, it's, it's the better part of the Delta V we have left here. So yeah. Good thing I didn't spend any on anything else. I guess we'll try it out. I guess we'll try it out. I really wish I didn't have so much liquid fuel right now. I'll probably like it better once we get to Kerbin, but still. This, this might be a bad idea. Okay. I think, folks, I'm going to sleep on whether to do this particular maneuver or whether I should uh, bring a refueler over to to this to make a safer bet in terms of its return. I think that's something I'll have to carefully consider rather than just plunge ahead with it. All right, so uh, on that note, uh, thank you for watching. We managed to bring this all the way over to Eve, do some science, and I intend to bring that back safely. So uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.